Marty and I from the Food Guys, we're back after 20 years, we're still alive. We are here at Le Jardin, Le Jardin. I love the name. It looks like a big castle. It's the most beautiful building I've ever seen. And the most beautiful baker, Maria. Maria, 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 Thank Maria. You, Maria. <laughs> Maria, what are some secrets that we can pass on to our public about baking? What, what's some of the fundamental things that you should know about baking? That's, that's a hard question it is. Um, because when I started yes. baking, yeah. I knew nothing about baking. No. I had a love for baking. Um, I started uh, uh, when I was I don't know, 10, 11 at home and gradually I think an individual will teach themselves how uh, or what uh, to use, what ingredients to yeah. use, what they favor, what they don't favor. Um, I found that I would follow, for instance, a recipe, but then when I uh, did the product and I thought, uh-uh, I didn't, I didn't really like this. So, you so I the... added my own uh, touches, what I right. felt because I enjoy baking so much, yes. I knew that if I added a pinch of this and a pinch of that, uh, my product would change and it would taste better. Yeah. I never, never, ever uh, did something that uh, you could find somewhere else. My product always All had original. to be different. So if you're an initial baker, is it the oven? Is it the, 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 the pots that, or plates that the uh, cookware that you're cooking with? How, what are some fundamental things that, because it's hard to do. How do you, if you don't follow, why well, you gotta follow recipes, but sometimes the recipes are difficult. It is, like you have to, uh, your oven is important because right. the temperature and what kind of an oven it is, uh, rack oven yeah. or rotating oven, a steam oven, uh, steam ovens don't work for, for cakes, for instance, right. uh, it just, <laughs> you yeah, know, it shrinks. Uh, yeah, and then yeah. your mixers, uh, you know, you, you butter, need, is butter important? Uh, butter is, uh, I like to use butter, yes. What kind of butter do you use when you, uh, you I bake butter? with unsalted, unsalted butter, butter, because I don't like salted sweets. Right. Personally. Yeah. So I think a lot of an individual's preferences moves forward in their product. Right. Uh, I don't like to use salted butter because salted I don't butter. like salted items. Right. Um, when I when I when you bite into my pastries or cakes, you actually taste the cake itself. You don't right. taste that salty aftertaste right. or that sugar right. aftertaste. So I think a lot of it. For a beginner, uh, it takes a lot of time. It took me, it took me ten years. Ten years to before, know about oh, baking. Oh yes, um, it's not easy. It's not an easy trade uh, because it, a lot of it is trial and error. Yes. Uh, will this work? Will that work? Uh, because you don't want to be like everybody else. You right. want to be your own person, your own product. Yeah. When when we had the business. Um, a lot of people came to me because I was different than other bakeries. Yeah. And that's one thing that I did not want to be. My product had to stand out. How do you keep it fresh? How do you keep the food fresh? I mean, do you, with your dough, do you freeze your dough? Do you, what do you do about with the dough? How, what, what's the secret? Unfortunately, the... It has to be made right there. Yeah, I wasn't one for fresh and this and that. Um, when somebody placed an order with me, there are certain products, yes, yes. that you can freeze. Like yeah. you can make a batch of sponge cake, right. wrap it up, and you the know, batch. freeze it, yeah. and yeah. no, uh, cook. The cake, yeah. yeah. And then you take out what you need, and it's right. beautiful. It's just like as if you made it fresh. Yeah. Uh, um, but some products, no. Some products need to be done fresh. Right. Your mixes, or for instance, your, your bread, your pizza dough. Yeah. Uh, can be frozen. Okay? That can be, and it's still fresh. But, and then, it, yeah. yeah, and then you can use it, take it out of the freezer, let it thaw, let yeah. it grow, and fine. So some products you can freeze and use, some products you can't. Right. 
and a person eventually will learn what can and cannot. Right. Yeah. It's all about trial and error. It is. A lot of it is. Um, yeah, and that's why you know when you're when you're working on a product, if it doesn't work out the first time around, yes, do it again, really, and again, again <laughs> until and again you and perfect again. it. Yeah. Wow, it's it's amazing because you know certain things like your food looks edible, but some of it looks dark or too light. Your food looks <laughs> your food looks amazing. We're going to end here because somebody's calling me, but we're going to start again <laughs> in a couple of minutes.